Hello everybody, welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a week of vegan breakfasts. Breakfasts, very strange word. Basically I filmed every breakfast I had for one week and I'm just going to show you here what I had and this should give you some ideas on what I eat for breakfast. Although what I like to eat for breakfast changes quite often and I go through different phases but yeah a lot of these are savory which is usually my preference and hopefully this is interesting for you so let's see shall we before we jump in, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is, of course, an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone that wants to explore or develop skills and interests and also get creative. As a content creator, it is very important for me to continue to try and be creative. And sometimes I can get some creator's block. You know what I'm saying? So I decided to take this course called Creative Breakthrough, eight exercises to power your creativity confidence and career by Danielle Carissa. The teacher is super engaging and super funny actually and this is a really fun and easy course that goes through different ways to fuel your creativity. So these types of classes are really common on Skillshare as well as lots of productivity classes which I love so much as well and these are a really great resource that can help you reach your goals and also just kind of help you have a more well-adjusted and well-rounded life. Who doesn't want that? So so don't forget to check out Skillshare guys. Uh, right now they're giving away two free months of premium membership to the first thousand people to click the link in the description box and that will give you access to all of their awesome classes. After that, it is only around $10 a month. So don't miss out guys. Click the link below and claim your two free months. All right guys, now that we've talked about creativity, it's time to show you some hopefully creative breakfast ideas. Let's get started. All right, you guys, welcome to day one. We're going to make some toast. Yes, I've been really into toast lately. Don't know what it is. I've been really into it. It's been fantastic. So we're going to use a toaster to make toast. I know. Amazing. And I've also been really into uh, spinach and sauteing spinach. It's been a thing, guys. I've been enjoying it. It's delicious. I, I, just, I just really like it. Okay. And uh, the only thing I don't like is that it turns into nothing after you cook it. Anyways, I like to also add some garlic salt to my sauteed spinach. Oh my god, seriously, how sad is that? Did you see how much spinach I added into that pan? And now there is like nothing. Ugh. Anyways, still delicious. I'm gonna add some lemon juice on top of the spinach because that's going to enhance the flavor and also enhance the iron absorption, my friends. I think we discussed this in the last video. And then on my toast, I'm adding some hummus. I can't remember if this is red pepper hummus or just regular hummus, but it's hummus, okay? On top of the hummus, I'm gonna add some uh, smoked tofu. And on the other piece of toast, I added the leftover hummus that was on my, um, on my knife. And then I'm also adding some vegan Caesar salad dressing, which I have a recipe for. I'll link that down below. And then I'm going to add some more uh, smoked tofu on that piece as well. So we've got two pieces of toast, both with smoked tofu on top. I also am having some blueberries as well. And that's it. Super simple. And uh, to me, this is a very balanced and easy breakfast. And of course, you can also add some of that delicious sauteed spinach on top of the toast and have a nice little bite there. Very delicious, very satisfying. Welcome to day two, everybody. We're gonna be making some scrambled tofu for day two because scrambled tofu, I mean, everyone loves scrambled tofu. Am I right? Am I correct? Let me know if you don't love scrambled tofu. This time, we're actually going to be making scrambled tofu with some veggie ground. This is Eve's veggie ground. I believe this one is the Mexican flavored one. And what I love about this is that not only does it add extra protein into the meal, but also it's flavored uh, nicely already. So you don't have to do too much with your tofu. So I have a little bit of tofu there. And then, of course, some of that veggie ground. And I'm just going to chop up some veggies that I have. I have some uh, red bell pepper here some mushrooms of course i think mushrooms and bell pepper go so well with scrambled tofu but what's great about scrambled tofu is that you can add you know whatever veggies that you want to add into it to saute 
So we're gonna start by adding a tiny bit of oil into a pan on medium high heat. And then we're gonna start with the mushrooms. We're also gonna add the tofu. We're gonna crumble the tofu up with our hands. Hopefully your hands are clean, okay? And then we're also gonna add the uh, bell pepper as well. I have the mushrooms kind of separate from everything else because I want them to brown a little bit on their own before I mix everything together. And then for seasoning guys, you guys know I have my scrambled tofu seasoning. And if you guys need the recipe for this, I will link that down below. It's basically a mixture of different spices that I like to use for scrambled tofu. And it just makes the scrambled tofu making process much easier. And then once everything is kind of cooked nicely, I can add in the veggie ground and mix it really well. Now, because I'm adding the veggie ground and because the veggie ground is already quite salty and flavorful, I didn't add too, too much of the scrambled tofu seasoning. Normally I would add a little bit more, but because I knew I was adding the veggie ground, I didn't add as much. And at the very end there, I'm gonna add a nice handful of spinach as well, just for some extra veg, some extra vitamins and goodness. And then you're pretty much done. I'm gonna add a little side of lemon to squeeze onto my uh, scrambled tofu to enhance the flavors more. And then of course, I gotta have a piece of toast. I gotta have it, guys. And on this particular day, I had a little dessert. I had decided to have an apple for uh, dessert after my breakfast. And welcome to day three. We are going to be making a brekkie bowl. Yay! If you guys remember, I did a video where I ate like Jen Im for a day and this is what I made for breakfast and it was so delicious. So we're starting out with a nice little bowl of broccoli and all we're gonna do is pour some hot water into the broccoli, cover it up and just let it cook like that for like five minutes. And while that broccoli is cooking, we can prepare our tofu. So we're just gonna add a little oil onto a pan on medium high heat. And then we're gonna use some slices of medium firm tofu to cook it nice and golden brown on each side. So the first time I flip it over, I'm just going to add a sprinkle of black salt on top, and that's gonna give it a really nice eggy flavor. And this is really, really gonna mimic uh, like a fried egg kind of. So definitely try this out guys, it's so good. And once that broccoli is cooked, you can just uh, take it out of the hot water. Then you can just pour the hot water out and then we're gonna use that same bowl to serve our breakfast bowl. So we're adding some uh, brown rice along with some sesame oil and uh, some soy sauce. And we're just gonna mix that really well. And then let's make some room for our delicious broccoli. Yes, okay. So we're gonna place the broccoli pieces into the bowl as well. And then let's add in our tofu pieces that are nice, golden, brown, and crispy on the outside and full of that eggy flavor. And then I decided to top everything with some sriracha and there is a very simple, very savory, very delicious breakfast. If you guys wanna check out that what I ate in a day video I did, I'll link that down below. Okay guys, so I kind of screwed up for Thursday because I totally forgot to film the uh, cooking process of this. But basically I made a soba noodle miso soup. So the base is miso soup, which I quickly made with some miso paste and a little bit of kelp powder. And then I also added in some baby bok choy, some edamame beans and some smoked tofu. And then I added my cooked soba noodles in there for a delicious hot noodle soup. Now we are on Friday. Did I mention I have a bit of a toast obsession at this moment? So I made a piece of toast here with some uh, chickpea salad and lots of veggies and some blueberries. So I'm just gonna show you how I made it. Yay, okay, let's get on with the chickpea salad. It's actually really easy. So we're just gonna mash some leftover chickpeas in my fridge, okay? I just had some leftover and I'm just gonna mash it with a fork. There isn't a lot, but there's enough to make a piece of toast, okay? So just mash it up roughly and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, vegan mayo, some relish and some Dijon mustard and mix it well. That's literally all you need, basically. And it's delicious, okay? You might wanna add a little salt if you want to but it's not really necessary. So we have a piece of toast. I'm also gonna add some uh, hummus as well uh, as a base. And then we can add some of that chickpea salad. I have some more hummus just on the side to eat with my veggies. So I'm gonna add some baby carrots onto my plate along with some cucumber as well. And as you can see, I also have some of those blueberries as well. And I also had some uh, grape tomatoes that I'm gonna have as well. So that's my very simple breakfast. 
All right, Saturday, we are back with some more toast. Yay! But we have two different kinds of toast, and it's very exciting. So let me show you what I did. Actually, it's it's not that different from the other days, but I go through phases, as I've mentioned. So we're gonna start out with cooking our spinach. Once again, we're sauteing that delicious spinach, turning it into nothingness as usual. Once again, I like to uh, season it with some garlic salt, super simple. And once that's nicely cooked, which takes like two seconds, we can set that aside. And I'm also gonna saute some mushrooms as well. And basically I like to let the mushrooms brown on each side nicely. And if it sticks a little bit to the pan, then I add just a tiny splash of water. And then we're gonna take a piece of toast and we're gonna add some hummus on top. And then we are going to add the mushrooms on top of that as well. Yummy. Seriously though, mushrooms are the greatest, okay? Seriously. And then on my other piece of toast, I'm gonna add some of this coconut milk jam. I think that's what it is. Actually, one of my employees from my cafe made this for us and it is so good. It's made with coconut milk and it's like sweet and delicious. And then we've got another side here of grape tomatoes and blueberries. And of course, that piece of lemon to squeeze onto my spinach. And this is so good. I love having like, a savory part of the breakfast and also some sweetness as well and oh my god this was so good i added some blueberries onto the toast with the coconut milk jam and oh my god i really need to get the recipe for that anyways we are here on sunday oh my god sunday what <laughs> once again we have toast but this time it's a sandwich so it's completely different okay so we're gonna make a delicious smoked tofu sandwich and I have this like giant thing of smoked tofu that my mom gave me. So I'm just gonna cut it up into pieces and just gonna store it in the fridge so I can easily, you know, take it out whenever I want to eat some smoked tofu. So I'm just cutting it up, okay? And then on my plate, I'm gonna add some blueberries. Am I getting predictable? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, on one piece of my uh, sandwich, I'm gonna add some vegan pesto. My mom actually made some delicious vegan pesto it's so good so i'm adding that on one side and then on the other side i'm adding some vegan mayo and then in the sandwich we're gonna have some tomatoes and some of those smoked tofu pieces and if i had lettuce i would add lettuce but i had spinach okay so i'm just gonna add some fresh spinach this time close up that sandwich and there you go we've got a spinach smoked tofu tomato pesto and mayo sandwich we also have some of that leftover tomato and we also have an orange or a mandarin orange whatever those oranges are called and of course those blueberries as well how delicious this was actually so so good i definitely need to make pesto sandwiches more often all right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed having breakfast with me every morning for a week. Let me know down below if you guys want more of these videos by clicking that like button. And also let me know in the comments as well. And of course, if you haven't checked out my What I Ate in a Week playlist, I'll leave that link down below so you guys can see what a vegan might eat in a week. This shows you breakfast, lunch, and dinners and snacks. Oh my God, amazing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, thank you so much to Skill share for sponsoring today's video do not forget to check them out guys don't forget the first thousand people to click the link down below gets two free months of skillshare right now so click that link now and claim those two free months thank you once again for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye